My co-host Popeye Chertanich is here with me now to go over some ways you can strengthen the bond with your dog. The best way to achieve that is to stay connected and engaged with your dog at all times. But we'll get to that later. First, we're gonna talk about the benefits of dog bonding. When you and your dog have a strong bond, it makes everything you do so much better. Going for a ride or taking a walk is even more fun when you and your dog are close. Secondly, training your dog becomes a breeze when you guys have a strong bond. They listen to you better and they follow direction even more. We all wanna have a strong bond with our dog, but for whatever reason, sometimes we don't. Maybe you've adopted a new rescue dog or maybe you travel a lot and are out of town for work. Whatever the reason, we're gonna give you a few ways to strengthen that bond between you and your dog. So now, here's the fun part. Let's talk about some ways to strengthen the bond between you and your dog. One of the easiest ways to be in tune with your dog and to get to know their likes and dislikes is to spend time with them. If you're at home, sit on the couch and watch a movie, preferably a dog-themed one, right Popeye? Or just go outside and go in the backyard, bring your cup of coffee or tea, and just sit and be with your dog. They'll love it. Now, if you're feeling ambitious, like Popeye and I were today, you can pack a picnic and head to your local park. Bring sandwiches for you and chips, or chips for your dog too, if they're anything like Popeye. Also bring your dog's food, water, and treats. If you go to a local dog park, you can even take your dog off leash, so bring their favorite tennis ball or toy and just have fun and enjoy the afternoon. And if you're like Popeye and I, you might want to dress alike, like we did today. It'll help, I promise. So another great way to strengthen that bond with your dog is to pet with purpose. Here on Canine Corner, we've talked about massaging your dog before, and that's a great way to get in tune with your dog. Just giving him a light massage, you know, maybe in the morning or at night for five or 10 minutes, nothing too much, but just spending that time with them, and trust me, they will love it. Another great way is to brush your dog. I have a brush here for Popeye, a soft bristle one since he has shorter hair, but if your dog has longer hair, use the longer bristles. And just give them, you know, a little bit of a brushing, maybe at nighttime before they go to sleep. Really, they'll enjoy it and you'll enjoy that time that you get to spend with them. So if you want to use walking as a way to enhance the bond between you and your dog, there's a few different things you can do. First of all, try not to wear headphones when you walk with your dog. That way your dog knows that you're connected to them and not focused on whatever you're listening to. Another way is to talk to your dog throughout the walk. Even if you're just saying you're tired and you wanna go home, talk to them. It keeps you two interacting and it really helps. Point things out to them along the walking route as well. It makes everything more engaging and more enjoyable for you and your dog. So remember to love your dog, talk to your dog, and give some of these things a try to strengthen your bond with your dog. It looks like Popeye's about ready to get back to our picnic, so we'll see you later. Another great way to bond with your dog is to give back, donating blankets, unopened dog food, and dog toys to animal control, as well as your local shelter and rescue groups is a great way to help out. Love on Four Paws is back with us now to answer your questions about how you and your dog can get involved.